What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Did you not hear me for a second? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my cue, like, my wait, cue. We're, Are we live? We're, we're live. We're good. Yeah. Uh, we're what's good. up, everybody? What's up? Uh, episode 5, Season 10. What it always is. It's The Walking Dead. Uh, this was an interesting episode. Uh, I liked half of it. Half of it, I was just, I could have done without. Uh, let's see if you guys can guess which half they are. So, uh, what'd you think of it, man? Uh, I love the Negan. I love the Negan stuff. Uh, I think we see a changed Negan in this episode. There, there have been glimpses, and we've talked about this about yeah. seeing little, little hints of the old Negan and certain. And we did see this, but it was for the right reasons, yeah. obviously. So, um, I mean, yeah, you know, let's... He, be he befriends the little kid. He says he's gonna bring the family to some place where they would take him in, which I would assume would have been Hilltop. Um, yeah, that was probably yeah. on top of the mansion. In the so middle. the thing, all right. So I mean, th I liked I liked all that. I liked how this. First of all, this kid Brandon. Yeah. Oh my God. Kudos scumbag, to right? the actor. He he played that kid well. He was so freaking annoying. His fanboy savior. What a fanboy. fucking fanboy. Yeah, and I was like, I oh, mean, but it was great because it was like, mm -hmm. I mean, although it was a little heavy handed, it was like. All right, you're over the top. Now you're doing it over the top now, and it's like, yeah. I got look. Oh wait, gave me time to wrap your present. Like he was yeah. so fucking annoying, dude. And uh, I figured he was killed once he like walked away. I knew he was gonna kill those those people. Like I knew he wasn't gone. Yeah, did like, you? Did you? I didn't. I mean, I didn't really yeah. get that. I thought that yeah. he no, was because gonna dude, listen the guy, to... the kid, the kid. Listen, the the kid was such a fanboy. There was no way he was just gonna go ahead and do that. And he was gonna yeah. do that stuff. He was. I was. I'm always the like the the touching like moments of the episode kind of guy because I'm like, oh, he's having this cool little. Uh, uh, moment with this with the son. I don't remember if we got his name. Uh, I'm sure we did, but doesn't matter. You know, he's dead now. About the ball flicking and how he's missed out on the childhood of a kid yeah. that would have grown up before the apocalypse. So uh, yeah, I guess after you know, there's always those kind of moments or love interests or for new friendships, and then they kill them off. So I guess I should have saw that coming with this uh, Brandon guy. Yeah, it's, you know, again, it was just a, it was you know, but but so. Let me ask you this though: Do mm. you think that that? Do you think that he went? For, all right. First of all, it looks like we're getting the Negan Whisper arc. It, that's what it looks like. It looks like we're headed in that direction where he's gonna go and he's gonna meet up with Alpha and he's gonna, you know, have it out a little bit with Beta. Yeah. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. You know, but you're not a comic book reader. <laughs> but I mean, but that's it. That's where he's at now. You know what I mean? It looks like they're going to do that. And there's something else that I want to talk about the, with the comic later. But I mean, so is he back to Negan or is he just doing it? No, he's not because he's just doing that to to kind of get yeah, out I there. I don't know. And, that's and, what I'm saying, because they're, they're, they're portraying Negan as this guy that's um, kind of changed his ways to a degree, you know, yeah. by by. Listen, he still bashed this kid's head in, which I mean, I guess it's well deserved. And it's not like the Negan of old, just. But I, I, I mean, so anyway, we're just getting a different kind of side of him. So, if you do follow the comic without spoiling really anything, what he kind of does then, I, I mean, I'm not sure that that would be the group on the show that he would try to be with. No, but it is you know what now. I mean? But it, here's the thing. But it I is. Know, I think. I think, I think I they've think set it up for him to. No, I think I set it up that. Maybe he plays. We don't maybe believe he's him. Playing. We don't believe him. So now, but he's like, no, I want to go back in and I want to do this. I want to be with this group. I think, I think, I think that's what they're gonna do. Maybe, maybe, I or he, what they're gonna do. He may just be saying, all right, let me try to get in these like a, like a undercover, you know, like a let well, me play yeah, that I fight but, these guys and then I'm but gonna it's, prove my worth to exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's to prove his worth yeah. back at at Alexandria. You know. Yeah. Um. How about uh, what'd you think about Aaron playing with his sword? That was stupid. I mean, I was like, "What are you?" I'm like, "What? Why yeah. is he like walking around like a little kid? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah." He's practicing. Stupid. I don't know. It's kind of yeah. dumb. Um, <laughs> speaking of dumb, so Gamma is polluting the water. Yes. So now, did you catch later on in the episode towards the end when Sadiq is on the phone with his doctor buddy? I forget that dude's name. Yeah, she's remember. like oh rosita caught a bug oh i don't know if i yep he says oh rosita rosita's you know caught a bug she's you know she's okay I oh bet, and I he bet... said yeah i'm gonna leave right i'm gonna i'm yeah. gonna leave 
whatever. I bet you she's getting sick from the water. It could be. I mean, I, after all these years, she dumps one body, one guts of. Uh, I don't know, man. That that. Uh, otherwise, like, what was like the whole how point many of bodies doing that? have fallen? Into I know, this I know. Rivers and and then she cuts open one body, and and now everybody's gonna. I get don't know that. I just Ill. I just feel like that's what that is. And then um, Rick and, and a shitload of hundreds of walkers blew up on a bridge and fell into the water. But that's not and, their drinking water. How do we know that? I don't. We don't. I'm just saying. Like they're making it. I I just feel like that's what they're doing. They're making it seem like this is, I her, guess. This but, is their I drinking mean, water. Yeah, you know, so. I, I mean that makes sense because we obviously get the we finally get the answer that we kind of were thinking about and, and questioning in the last couple episodes is if the whispers are the ones that are behind these attacks. On well, the now we know. Now yeah. we know. And Alexandria, so we know that the it's... blacksmith said it, and then also she just flat out says it. Yeah, and she kills a dude over it. She's yeah. like, oh, the Knicks are the ones that hurt the most, and then you can cripple them that way and stuff. So, yeah, so obviously, yeah. So, so mystery solved. Uh, a couple other things <laughs> from this episode. Kelly losing her hearing. Yeah, um, that was that was really interesting. There's nothing, to me, there's nothing scarier than not being able to hear in that world. That's insane. So, Connie, we, we got last season, excuse me, we got last season, we got a few you know, scenes and shots with, with her from her perspective, you know, running around in that field and everything where she couldn't hear. Like, that's just insane. Yeah. And then now Kelly's losing her, 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 I was going to say eyesight, her hearing. It's just very, it's super frightening, dude, to be, yeah. to not be able to hear in that world. Of I thought, course. I thought that was, I thought that was done really well, though. I like, I like that opening. I like, I like whole, yeah, I like the way it was thing. shot and everything like that, too. I also like the fact that we're seeing more. Listen, I mean, we, I, I, we talked about this already before we started recording. This is all Daryl and Connie kind of, uh, yeah, relationship grooming and, and growing kind of thing. Uh, and, and Kelly obviously is a big, is, is a big reason for that. Daryl didn't necessarily have to go out and look for her, but he does. And, and the way he's he's trying to sign more that those were nice scenes. He's getting better. I really enjoy. I'm gonna tell you, man. I really enjoy seeing Daryl lively, like have a mm-hmm. like have a purpose, like yeah, you know. And it's really cool seeing Norman Reedus do this stuff. You know what I mean? Because we're so yeah. used to just seeing him the way we he normally is. You know, gruff, silent. You know, badass. Yeah, no, but I, I agree. I'm really enjoying it. I feel like I feel like. Norman Reedus is getting a chance to act more. <laughs> it's like he's getting to actually say more lines and act. Yeah, he's definitely more vocal. You know what I mean? It's like he gets to do his job, you know? Um, yeah. I really actually, that's one of my favorite parts of, of what's going down right now is that kind of story. I like Connie. I like her tenacity. Too. I like her that she's a survivor, even yeah. though, you know, she's, you know, it's she can't hear. It's fucking nuts. Yeah. And yeah, and she's teaching there. Like, I, I like it. I like all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, what I don't like is the mag, the Magda, uh, uh, Miko stuff. Like, yeah. I'm just that's like, don't get me wrong. Like, I really like the, I really like Eleanor Matsura's character, Miko. I really like her character. I don't, I never like the Magda character. Yeah, it's a little strange. I mean, um, you know, we we find out Magna's the one that was stealing the supplies, and she kind of planned to her and Kelly. Yeah, to leave, and um, it's. You know, I don't know. It's like we, that character. The character's yeah. annoying. It's just like she's right, a little annoying like, because she was always kind of she was always kind of gung ho. Let me kind of prove my worth here in, yeah. in Alexandria and in Hilltop. And now all, all of a sudden, she's like, I want to leave. And we also find out that she, uh, you know, Miko was her lawyer, and that uh, she killed somebody. She and that killed was, someone. Uh, oh, hold on, let me think. I forgot exactly what the story was. Something about but, her sister, like, so like maybe get her car, her niece, or something, something like that. But we were getting someone, yeah. So she killed someone, I guess, and then she's like, yeah, now and, we both killed. Yeah. So I, like that's that. kind of a little backstory, I guess, how they really initially met and stuff. That Miko was was her her, yeah. her lawyer. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of, 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 of them in this episode either. It's like, it's like out of the, out of that group, it's kind of, we're going pro Connie and Kelly, I think a little bit more than the, the Miko Magna stuff, but who knows? It could change. Um, what, we, what else we got? What about the um, lump? What is it? Is it cancer? Oh, yeah. yeah. He says is it just that a, it was is a it thyroid, just a, a thyroid thing? thing. Yeah. So dude, that was so great. Said, He's like, takes a scarf off. Uh, yeah. You know, it's like, honestly, um, he talks about. I think he says like it's something that happened in his family with his grandfather and his father, or something like that. So he kind of knows what it is. Um, Sadiq is trying to tell him, no, there's 
there's things that we can do. There's there's options there, but I think that he's kind of we got to be honest. Yeah, blah, blah. counting himself out. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I. Uh, do you think that that he's gonna go out by this this growth or anything, or you think that there wouldn't you want to try to you have doctors go in there and cut the cut it out? I mean, it's a thyroid. It's not you know you're not doing open heart surgery. So I don't. I mean, that's a little risky in in this world. I don't. I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't understand that. That's like a. It's the same thing with that love quadrangle. Like it's just like this weird. Like well, I don't understand. That I don't know. Story that's, that's my whole like point. Would, yeah, would you want like, him to go out because he died of this cancer, or uh, would you rather him um, die in 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 surgery? Or yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. know There's like is. a few different. I don't know what the payoff ways. is. What the payoff's going to be of that, and what's yeah. going to, or is Carol going to be like, oh no? Yeah, I don't know. You know? Man. And then I don't think right, she's. So, yeah, I don't think Carol's built like that to, to just all of a sudden change her ways just because this guy is. No, um, and so I don't know what's going on with him. I, That's the thing. I, you know. I don't know what's going yeah. on with him with with yeah. Zeke. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. You know. I mean. Okay. Great. You know. People characters they're allowed to be depressed and whatever, but it's just I don't know. It's kind of yeah. It's kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's at this point it's kind of boring. Kinda, like, he's kind of. I think he's kind of run his course, Ezekiel, a little bit. Because now we're off book, you know what I'm saying, so to speak. Yeah, with, yeah. With, so with Ezekiel, but I mean, they do something better with him, you know. Yeah. Um. Lastly, I just want to talk about. Uh, at the very end, I'm sorry. No, the coming attractions. It was in the coming attractions. Did you see that one? Uh, enlighten me. Because we get a a, a phone call. Right, the coming attractions. It was when I didn't Eugene. See them. Okay, so Eugene gets a phone call or you know whatever a radio call uh, yeah hello hello and now people from you know read the comic you'll know that that's in the comic that's the commonwealth yeah. remember you got that far didn't you doesn't he have a relationship with that with the yes, girl there's a, or there's a girl on the other end stephanie who has, is it stephanie mm, i think mm. Anyway, it's been a while, sorry but you know I what i'm saying i didn't see i didn't see okay the... so but but that so that's in the coming attraction for next okay. week so I wanted to just briefly talk about that because that means they're also going to are they now th- th- does that mean they're going to pull in the Commonwealth arc because that means the it's right around this time that he started doing that in the comic as well. So the, the Negan going to the whispers, him con- being contacted or 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 making getting starting a relationship with the Commonwealth. That's all happening now. So we're that, looking, in the in the comic book. Did it overlap with the whispers? Y- yeah, the yeah, it was during. Yeah, I think it was oh, like okay. during. I okay. could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was because it wasn't just like one issue where it happened or like mm-hmm. it was over a period of time. Because okay. then he finally goes to Rick in the comic and he's like, "Hey," and he's like, "Why the hell didn't you tell me this?" Yeah, he's like, "Well, I was making sure that it was safe and blah blah blah." But she says blah blah blah. Now my only qualm with that is, what about Maggie? I thought the lady that we met. I know we Two don't know seasons ago. Georgie. Yeah. Georgie is from the Commonwealth, though. We don't know that for sure. No, but in, isn't in the comic that's her? It's not. Is her it? name isn't Georgie, but they dress very similar. That's what I'm saying. So, so okay, so that means Maggie's not at the Commonwealth. Maybe it's, maybe it's Maggie on the radio. Maybe. Oh, I mean, maybe. Maybe that's how they. It would bring be. It would be a bit now. strange if Maggie's off doing these little um Whatever building communities doing. and stuff with with georgie and then now there's a whole other group that's the commonwealth and and georgie isn't a part i, I don't know maybe she's um from a, like a sub community or another you know, see, i don't now know you get, now you get yeah community. now it's like getting very convoluted so i, I don't know that's i'm I mean, just that's curious what saying i wouldn't want it i, I would Give me just the Commonwealth. Don't give me right. Don't give me also. But they, but they can't now because now they got Maggie. Maggie's out there. That so they. I feel like they've written themselves into a corner yeah. where it's like, well, if Maggie's not at the Commonwealth, then she's just randomly doing something. And then who? Yeah, was but that wouldn't woman, they Georgia? call it that already? Like the, we know that they're they communicating. Did. No, they never did call Didn't it the Commonwealth. Oh. It was always like, oh, was have us? you heard from Maggie? Oh, we got a couple letters from Maggie. She's working with Georgie. Blah blah blah. No, but initially when they met Georgie and she shows up at Hilltop and she no, she the never book. says right. the Commonwealth. I didn't remember. Yeah, no, no. All right. Well, look, so, man, I, mean, I don't know. I guess, I guess, you know, we'll see again. Just th- I yeah. feel like they've written themselves into these spots where, okay, well, how are you going to explain this? You know, how are you uh, going to get out of this one? You know? Yeah. I mean, uh, lastly, I mean, I have 
uh, we have obviously Negan runs into Beta at the end, so I'm kind of curious. Did you? Well, that's was there anything cool. about them in uh, in the? Uh, yeah, the, there was like, oh, I don't trust him. You know, Beta's telling Alpha, I don't trust him, and she's okay. like, we're gonna find, we're gonna see, we're gonna test him, we'll test him. We'll test him. Or some shit, All right, so. so that's cool. I mean, one one little fun little Easter egg that I saw on. Uh, I wish I could remember the group, um, the Facebook um, group that I saw the the Easter egg on is that whole scene that uh, we were kind of barking about, about Miko and, and um, Magna when she's listening to, to the music. The song that was played was a song that Emily McKinney, who played Beth, just came out with. Oh, they put her in there? It wasn't her singing the vocals. But there's a male vocal on that on the song that was played on the version that was played on the on the show, and a lot of people are saying that it's Beta's voice. And there are a lot of little rumors I've heard even before the season started of who Beta may have been, and a lot of people are saying that he could have been okay. um, a, someone famous, some yeah, okay. kind of person right. in the limelight before the apocalypse uh, began, which is. Kind of a cool little thing, but um, who knows about the whole beta singing and if that was him on the track. If you're fans of this and you want to look back at that, I'm sure you can find that um, song. Yeah. That version, and uh, listen to it a few times and see what you guys think, if that's beta's voice behind that song. Um, and, you know, I mean, either, either either way, it's cool that Emily McKinney is still kind of contributing to the show. Oh, she was, yeah, yeah. You know, I loved Beth toward the end. You know, it was, I liked uh, Beth a lot. That the episode where she was with Daryl and they were yeah. in the cottage, like it was yeah. her birthday or something. Yeah, it was, oh wait, no, no, was that bad lip reading? I think that was bad lip reading. No, well, thinking. they were in the cottage. That's when they burned. No, no, it but down. I'm thinking the dialogue. I'm thinking of the bad lip reading that uh, 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 um, <laughs> uh, video for that particular scene. Yeah. She's like, "It's my birthday!" Oh my god! If you guys haven't seen. If you guys haven't seen Bad Lip Reading, oh, sure that's have. a channel on YouTube. Just type in Bad Lip Reading. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Um, and then all of their Walking Dead stuff from season one to whatever, it's mm. it's phenomenal. It's so yeah. good. It's so funny. It's fantastic. It, you got to watch it. You, you owe it to yourself if you haven't seen it. It's so good. You, you pr yeah. Chances are you probably have on Facebook I'm or sure Instagram you saw, or somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure. yeah. Um, there's, anyway, there's no shortage of bad lip reading content. Yeah. Uh, you know, I uh, I went and grabbed the album of um, the previous episode. Uh, what what? Uh, hold on, what episode was it when? I'm trying to think. What episode was it when he went to? Um, he was giving Carol the food. Was that last week? I think that was last week, right? Where they were, oh, he was in Alexandria the when they he's yeah, in Alexandria, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a song from a band called Gordy, um, Heaven I Know. It's that's that song that they just kept playing, in the beginning okay. and the end. It was such a good song. I'm like, what song is that? So I held held my phone up to it, and it was like, it told me what song it was. You shazammed it. Uh, yeah, basically, and um, yeah. So it's it's that's a really that's a cool album. And then I grabbed the yeah. album. It's, oh, pretty cool. Cool. it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I liked yeah. it. I liked it. Yeah. Anyway, nice. um, nice. all right. So look, yes. that's, it. Uh, that's it. What uh, what do you uh, what do you guys think? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> right in the comment section below, of course. Let us know what you guys all thought of this episode. Yeah. Um, let us know if you heard Beta's voice. That's something cool. That's something that I might even go back and listen to uh, a few times to to see if I hear it. That would be interesting stuff uh, to have a, a, a celebrity and maybe someone uh, recognizing him. Um, one of the other characters. That would be kind of. He's out in the woods. He's just singing to yeah. himself, and they're like, <laughs> Nash. <laughs> that would be. That would be. Uh, yeah, that would be funny. But anyway, uh, we're on Third Person Pod on all the social media outlets. You can type in thirdpersonpod.com in any of the search engines. Channel pops up. Very easy. You know and how to do it. Fun content, all our great interviews Go check uh, them out. with some fantastic people. Yep. Yes, that's we're it. there. It's going to do dead. it. We got uh, three more episodes, so I guess they're going to go to eight for the rest of the year. Three. Yeah, they usually do the eight in the eight. Eight, so. yeah. So, um, all right, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, we love you, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Peace.